Hello everyone, this is Gali and welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Your Dragon. Today we're going to learn how to do different body shapes for different dragons, because every one of our dragons may have different elements or different places where they live, and according to that they have different bodies. So we can start by thinking where we want our animal to live in. For example, I want my dragon to live in the mountains and maybe a volcano, he could be from fire. So to adapt in a place where there's little water and maybe little prey as well, you might want to create a dragon that can climb rock or maybe be made of rock. So for that, for example, you might want to have a thick body and have like tiny legs maybe. There's so many ways you can approach this, but I would recommend thinking of where you want your character first. So maybe he could have like a mountain lion kind of paws. Make them thick. Thick forearms as well. Like the mountain lion maybe. With a thick neck. There's also a different approach that could be creating your usually standard dragon shape but adding details to it and make it look more like volcano-ish kind of. So imagine you have your normal, and by normal I mean standard for legs, wings, dragon. He looks like a normal traditional dragon. Nothing that could make him particularly different or special, but you want him to look like a mountain dragon, right? Okay, my zoom is acting weird. So, imagine we want him to be a dragon that can lift rocks, perhaps, with his horns. So you want heavy horns. And maybe a lot of spikes made of rock. No. And his legs can have very spiky claws. If you've seen uh, Monster Hunter World, I believe there's a monster called this, Nergigante. He's full of spikes everywhere and he does climb on a volcano looking like dragon. So, you can get inspiration from that. Powerful, thick, strong, rocky dragon. With a lot, a lot, a lot of spikes. Very big wings. So that's one idea, right there. So what if we want to make our dragon not be a fire dragon, but a water dragon? He could swim underwater and also come out. Well, you can think of frogs and salamanders and any other animals that can be part of water and also outside, like crocodiles. So crocodiles have tiny spikes on their backs, like this, and a tail that doesn't have a lot of, of drag, which means it doesn't have a lot of things to stop it from flowing, right? So he can swim faster. But the good part about dragons is that you can make them what you want them to be. So in this case, we're going to use this as a base. And think of a, a fish, maybe. A shark, a, m a mammal, which is a shark, ha. a whale, a dolphin, a fish. And give your animal different traits according to that. So maybe he could have webbed feet instead of the usual normal claws. And maybe even fins. And his feet and his wings could be just penguin-like. So he can fold them against his body to be even better on the water. And your dragon can also have gills. Why not? Big eyes to see on the water. Sleek head. So that's another idea. 
How about your dragon made for wind, for air? If you want to stop the video anytime to get the idea of this one, so you can do it. And we're gonna do a wind dragon now. So imagine a wind dragon, they have to be sleek so they can fly. They can also be strong and big, but maybe you want the wind element, you might make their faces like a bird, more thin. That's just an idea, I'm not telling you how to do them, but it's an idea that works pretty well when you're trying to design a character. So for example, when you think of wind, you think of birds, and birds have feathered wings. Your dragon doesn't have to have feather wings to be air, but I do think this looks really fancy and nice. You can even make a feather crest. You could have very long legs and tiny claws. You can also Google animals that resemble birds, like dinosaurs from old that had wings. Or maybe just birds, which are technically dinosaurs from now. And not feathers, and Google how birds fly and how they do it. And maybe even tropical birds, because a tropical bird will be quite different than one that lives in the icy regions of the Earth. If your dragon could be two elements, like ice and wind, just think about that. So that's for wind. Earth could also be like the fire one, like the volcano one, based on rocks making thick. So Earth could have like a rocky build, rocky neck, more like a bull. And he doesn't have to be able to fly, maybe he could have smaller wings. Maybe he couldn't fly, he could have big horns. Think of a bull or an elephant or a rhinoceros. Maybe at horns, spikes. So the thing about elements and body shapes is that just as humans, I imagine dragons could have various different body sizes, even if they were from the same element. And they are original by themselves. They could have maybe like family traits. Like imagine this one was part of a, a race or a breed of dragons, and some of them had tiny horns. And some of them have super big curly horns like this. It really depends, right? You can grab inspiration by looking at things like how to train your dragon or maybe uh, Monster Hunter, Pokemon, Digimon. Literally go and look for inspiration anywhere, that's not bad. It's great. Everyone got it from somewhere else, really. Even from nature. So when you're designing your character with the, the different body shapes and the elements, if they have elements, if not, that's also fine. You can make your character do whatever you want. But also remember that some animals have traits for a reason, like long tails to hang and big claws to rip apart, fangs to rip meat, maybe some skin patterns to hide, big eyes to see underwater or hump. You know, so that's what I do when I create dragons. I usually think of animals I like to incorporate. I want an eagle. I take what I like from the eagle, like maybe the eyes. They can see far away. They are good hunters. So instead of having just the eagle, I make the dragon out of the eagle. You can incorporate anything you like from any animal, really, and make it, make it your own. Yeah, that's what I do with dragons, but you can do it with any other fantastic creature you want to create. So I hope you had fun watching this video, and hopefully I sparked some ideas for your next dragons. If you really like this video, please share and subscribe. You can click the bell icon on the top of my profile, that will lead you to more videos when I post them. And you can also follow to get to know some other videos I like, of people that draw and you know I find awesome so thank you for watching us till the next time bye bye